then all right okay hello everyone sam is here from myforestmagicgear.com uh making just a small video about a um, couple of things um a couple of pairs and the index and how do i trade uh for youtube it's been a long time i didn't post any youtube uh, video all right so let's get started uh it's just uh introductory um uh, uh video like an over uh, you know recap all right um let me see i lost my chart okay all right so let's get started with this thing uh euro um index okay it, what is index index is usual uh, it's an individual currency uh chart of an individual currency it's not a pair you don't trade it um, but um like euro usd involve two currencies okay you you buy one and you sell the other but here this is just the index the euro index uh, telling you that either the currency is getting weaker or is stronger. So in that uh, in that way, you can uh, judge that okay, if the euro is like in this case, uh, it, went, it was it was going up, hit the trend line, and the resistance and start dropping. So if it is dropping, if the index is dropping, that means uh, the currency is getting weaker. So what do you do? You go long on euro USD? No, obviously, you know euro is on the left hand side. So if euro gets weaker, euro USD will drop, right? So you look for only shorts. So this is what I'm going to show you how it works. So here you see uh, I made this chart. For example, fifth November, November fifth, uh, it, the price start coming down. And what did I say here? Below twelve twenty-five, we'll say hello to one uh, twelve twenty-three first. We haven't got there yet. But how far we got there? In between, from uh, between like eighteen twenty-five, this white line, and twelve twenty-three, this white line. In between, what we have is sixteen forty. Right, I also uh, marked that number, but that's a minor number. The big number is twelve twenty-three, but you know, one number uh, at a time. Right, first is first. The first thing was to get to sixteen forty. That's why I'm making this video today because we got today uh, we touched that sixteen forty today, right here. Okay, this is seventeenth November finally. So we came down and we touched it. So all this time, euro was getting weaker so what do you do you short euro aussie i mean euro um usd and of of course like euro aussie and other euro yen all those pairs compare uh, uh that you know uh, compare the euro weakness with any other currency that which one is the strongest against the weaker and that way that pair moves a lot right so that's why I like Euro uh, Euro Aussie because somehow for some reason when Euro gets weaker Aussie gets strong so it's like a double reaction you know two bladed sword you know it's like Euro is getting weaker Aussie is getting stronger the pair range is big if it, when it moves it moves fast both currency reacts and you have a both a reaction at the same time on the pair okay so that's why the range of this pair Euro uh, Aussie it's like more than 200 all the way, 250, 300, you know, daily range. That's how on a daily basis that pair moves. While your your pound or, uh, or cable or that um, your USD probably move 100 pip, that thing will move 250, 300. Anyway, so euro was getting weaker. So I, I'm on a shorter time frame, what do I do and how do I uh, analyze it? I'm going to show you from... Um, so this is my 16 minute charts why 16 minutes are these are not regular candles these are uh, a mixture of a couple of different kind of candles that gives me very very precise understanding that when the turn is going to happen uh since the uh, the big higher time frame uh, chart was coming down right and i see here that it is it's one two three four you know elliott wave count and i start telling people that you know my subscriber that you know look for short for these pairs like euro usd and euro aussie because this thing is going to go down um and on the monthly chart it is going down on a weekly chart so look what happened straight to the downside here, right so it just keep uh to the downside and then uh, once we finish uh here and then we went up here again and start coming down here again. I had these uh, charts also, but I lost them. Whatever I have right now, I'm showing. So here at this point, I said it's going to drop, you know, Elliott wave count, sub waves, one, two, three, four, and we go five, four. Remember that number, 1640. And so what happened? Finally, it, today, 
that's what happens. So finally, after this long time, I was telling that from here, then it took a little, little bit of lo <laughs> longer time, but finally we touched that area, 1642 there, right? But what is the difference? How is it beneficial to me, knowing that euro is getting stronger? What did I do to get a, a, any benefit out of it? Uh, not, you have several euro pairs, but I'm going to just take one pair. Like I said, I love euro Aussie. Uh, because it, when it moves, it moves good. So we have a good chart there. So I'm going to show only Euro Aussie. See, you know, if you can. Um, uh, let's say uh, as of today, what is that? This is, oh, since, okay, it started from the October, the same time that I made that big chart. Uh, Euro was dropping. See, the, the trade open and close. This is um, my strategy, magic IB strategy, and also it gives very, very clear. Um, entries usually I take entries from six minute charts and uh, the guiding chart is 16 minute charts okay so see this uh, trade 47 pip here second entry 12 pip there now I know the euro is getting weaker so uh, you can see on my whole uh, 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 this uh, picture saving uh, folder that you will not see euro as long because why would I <laughs> going long because euro is getting weaker right so I'm showing, okay, by the way, this is MT4 station, and look at these entries, how many entries, okay, and um, uh, see, this is another version of, uh, um, you know, daily chart showing when it was here, uh, it says, and you know, we're going to drop down to, uh, this is Euro Aussie, sorry, okay, so Euro Aussie, since the Euro was, the Euro index was going down, look at the Euro Aussie analysis, from here to, we need to get to 49.99 first, right? And I was keep shorting it. This is another scenario. This is another short trade, 91 on 11th November. And I had um, some other trades, but you know, uh, I forget to uh, you know, uh, save those charts. And uh, see, now finally we drop to 49.99. It's 12th November 12th. And um, there was another opportunity to go short here. And look at this on 17th. Uh, the first chart is this. The second one is this today. So I took advantage of that again. And the first, my entry, entry and I accidentally closed it immediately. Uh, pressed the wrong button, so it was minus four. But otherwise, yeah, I got it uh, again. And 54 here and 23 here. Okay, so two entries uh, based on this euro index chart. Obviously, Aussie index as well. I am watching, but if I start showing you that and the video is going to be too long another pair that i want to show uh that how i uh, work with that is uh, gj so gj this is a daily or a weekly chart i forgot to write it down but this is like just to see the bigger picture so you can see these big moves when it's red 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 is coming down all you got to do is just go on my 16 minute or 16 minute chart strategy and take short blue going long coming down so look at the amount of pivot 350 drop then it went up, then 250 drop again. This whole big move, 500 pip. Then drop, then again start. So the reason I'm showing is that uh, lately, last week on 17 September, it started going up and that up move was in place. So what do we do? Long, long, long. JJ, GJ long. So start looking at this. This is my weekly chart. And uh, it's an uptrend. And uh, October 2nd, and it start, you know, that going on up there. And start going on. Let's watch what happened. These are my you know, long entries on this pair only. Okay, Euro uh, Euro Aussie short entries only. But here I was in, but I closed the trade because the NFP, NFP was coming out and NFP you know mess up a lot of things, right? <laughs> so another uh, on the six October you can see is you know there's a 54 pip, nine pip, four pip, and that's it. I continue to the upside my daily charts and this is these are the before chart that i send out to my subscriber to take advantage of these whenever you can see here another trade on 12th october 40 pip positive keep going to the upside uh, gj this was again um 16 minute chart showing that it's a nice girtle type pattern bad bad pattern and then we might be going to the upside again so start taking it long and i did the same thing gj 19th october long 30 pip positive here Okay, long, 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 close it. You know, 19 October, 61 pip close. See, if you have your analysis right, 
and the price move in your direction if you have a, strat a good strategy to uh, take the entries precise entries because when I make an entry this is so precise that I hardly go negative okay and if I'm if I'm wrong then obviously 20 pip 25 pip SL those uh, are the window but <laughs> Uh, usually and uh, that doesn't happen so long 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 keep going on and here see 139 pip on 30th October look at this okay and uh, again I close it on 136 pip finally that uh, again if it is retracing leave it alone because we saw the higher time frame telling us that this pairs keep going to the long side it's gonna make higher high anything lower or coming down is just a retracement and it can uh, turn against you anytime so why bother and you know if if I'm trading GJ then I'm, I leave alone to uh, Euro Aussie to retracement or something and you know you can always find that some pairs are doing the retracements and some trending uh, in the direction of the trend so you take the trending pair in the direction of the trend and those and make those entries so GJ is long 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 again and November it's 37 here 26 here and look at these entries you know this is the indicator it comes down leave it alone when it start going up you have blue candles get in it's coming down leave it alone start a couple of blue candles indicator is coming out get in simple as that long 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 again pointing to the upside and when it's dropping see I don't have any trade because you know it pulled back and then I says from this area maybe we go up again so this is the shorter time frame for our chart that okay this is the channel this is support start bouncing already this indicator is all the way down let's take entries and and uh, there were a couple of entries that are, are uh, from here to here no actually i forgot to take entries on gj because i was busy on your Aussie in those days so um but here you can see this is 16th 54 pip and this is 16 uh, 54 and then another entry i made here second entry which i close 16th um november it means yesterday 54 pip and 49 pip these two trades entry here exit here entry here exit here. all right so this is gj and today i have anything today yeah today uh, 65 plus we'll see this is 69 pip running and uh, um i don't have uh, the the when the trade closed I, I didn't record the chart so i don't know what it is but you see this is uh today's trade is 69 pip positive okay so this is how my strategy is and my analysis if i give you the chart uh my analysis that okay this is uh the direction the major direction the weekly chart the daily chart tells you where that pair is going if it is going up or down and that means that it's a weekly chart that means several week is going to go in that direction but not in a straight line so every time it pulls back we wait and like for all of these pulls back pulls back pulls back and when the time comes because the market doesn't move 24 hour it it's open 24 hour but it doesn't move 24 hour okay there are slow time there are fast time there are volume time there are you know empty time and there are time when you have a news uh, slow news uh, medium news strong news uh, weak news you know all of those so these are the factors and based on those factors I make those uh, you know before charts and I send out simple as that and this is the final chart today you see I just recorded it and it's still going and you now you know where it is going right <laughs> okay so tonight I'm still uh, gonna watch uh, for long entries euro aussie short entries euro usd short entries but by the way 1640 is you just saw on euro index 1640 is a very key number we may get a bounce you need to be very careful on that so this is it for now uh if you watch uh, my video and like it then you know you can go on my website and um, you know subscribe and start learning i teach i do my live webinars and uh, i teach all of these analysis how i do it you get to uh all of these before charts are uh, posted on my website uh, on one of the page it's, you know with the password so when you subscribe you get to go see all those charts previous charts and all current charts I send out in the email with instructions what to do and how to do and once you learn that strategy I give you the EA the indicators everything 
how to open those 16 minute charts and six minute charts on trade station it's a different platform and if you want to open it m m uh, mt4 then you need an ea so i give you that ea as well so you have to open one minute chart and then the the, the five minute uh, five minute uh, no actually that six six minute and 16 minute is from uh, mt4 okay mt4 uh, um ch uh, chart that we, we must use is six minute and 16 minute and then uh, the other one is, you know, you can use five minute chart, trade station. The, all those entries are from that. And I, I actually use both charts at the same time before I make an entry, make sure that they are both aligned. And um, both stations are giving the right same entry at the same time. Uh, it's powerful then. Okay. So this is it. And uh, go on my website, subscribe, and start learning and start making uh, some real uh, good amount of pips. Okay, between yesterday and today, I have 245 pips. I just showed you the euro, Aussie, and pound, yeah, only. Okay, so and you have a lot of pairs, right? But you don't need to. You just um, you know increase the amount of the large size if you want to make more money. Even you can only trade only one pair, which is moving good, and gets you 50 pips, 60 pips a day. Well, that's you know you just increase your amount. You know whatever the profit you want to make, increase the amount. Uh, of the lot size all right so this is uh this is how you do it so this is it i'm gonna close it now thanks for watching have a great day